So the heading for this section is where to pen test. So one of the first things a pen tester should do is determine not only what applications are in use, but also their version. So what we're going to do first is we're going to navigate to yourbank.com and we're going to right click view the page source. So we're going to take a look at the action attribute within here and we're going to see that it's set to a PHP script. So we know that it's a PHP script because of the .php extension. So now if we close the tab and come back over to the site. Now something else that we could do is we could check to see if there's an index file and if it also has a PHP extension. So this not only tells us the file name that we're viewing, but also that PHP is in use. Okay, so now taking this a step further. So this tells us that PHP is in use, but how are we going to view the versions? So there's any number of open source applications that you can use or tools or utilities or whatever you want to call them. But we can use them to view not only what applications are in use, but also what operating system they're hosted on. So I'm just going to illustrate using curl, but you can use Telnet, you could use Netcat, and there's, you know, there's others. So we'll just do curl-v and then yourbank.com. So this not only returns the web page in its raw HTML format, but it also gives a lot of other information with it. So we can see over here the applications and their versions, and then we can also see the OS. All right, so now let's minimize the terminal and let's take a look at a simple Firefox plugin that can do the same exact thing. So I'm going to click on the hamburger icon over here, go to add-ons, and then inside the add-ons, right now I have this add-on, it's installed, but we need to enable it. So now that we enabled it, let's do a page refresh, and then let's go back over to the other tab, sorry, the other tab, then page refresh, and there we go. So you can see these are the applications that we're using and the OS. And if we click on it, it's going to show us the possible versions of those applications that's hosted on that OS. All right, so now going back to the other tab, we can disable this, read that in, close here, and now we're back here. Okay, perfect. So now that we've determined not only what applications are in use, but also their version, and, and one more thing about the application versions. That's very, very important in the world of security because what you're going to find is that as they do new release for new versions, they depreciate certain functions. So some functions that may be considered really insecure in previous versions have been kind of weeded out in newer versions. So if we know that they're using older versions of a, an application, we can just simply search vulnerability databases and then check to see if those vulnerabilities exist based on that version of that application. Okay, so now that we know that PHP is in use, we're going to try to pinpoint on the site the points of interest. So the points of interest is, again, if you do your research and you see where vulnerabilities have been exploited, you're going to find that the browser search field is one, and then also you can do it within your HTML form through the input fields. So we have insider information. We know that the PHP code that we have on the server side, we can't do that right now. So we don't have the proper code in place to be pen testing through our browser search field. We do, however, know based on the previous lab or based on the lab, which is lab three, that we were able to perform a SQL injection password bypass through these input fields right here. So this is where we'll be pen testing within our assignments are through these two fields.